I want to talk about how to take the derivative of a product. And we'll start by talking about how not to do it. Let me give you an example. I have two functions, f of x equals x to the fourth and g of x equals x to the sixth. So I can make a product out of the two functions, f times g, and that'll turn out to be x to the tenth. Now, what's the derivative of this product of the two functions? Well, you might expect the derivative to be, the derivative of the product to be the product of the derivatives. The derivative with respect to x of f of x times the derivative with respect to x of g of x. And that would give you, well, the derivative of f of x would be the derivative of x to the fourth. And that's 4x cubed. And the derivative of g of x is the derivative of x to the sixth, which is 6x to the fifth. And multiplying that out, I get 24x to the eighth. Good. But I can also do this derivative a different way. The derivative of f of x times g of x is the same as the derivative of x to the tenth. And that derivative is 10x to the ninth, a very different function from 24x to the eighth. What went wrong? This is what went wrong. This statement's not true. So that's very important. When you take the derivative of a product, it does not equal the product of the derivatives. In general, the derivative of a product is not the derivative of f of x times the derivative of g of x. So what is it? Well, what it is is the product rule. The derivative of f of x times g of x is the first function, f of x, times the derivative of the second function, g of x, plus the second function, g of x, I'm going to go out of my box here, times the derivative of f of x. The first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. That's the product rule. 